Hello everybody! Today, I'm going to show you how I turned this thrifted duvet cover into a robe. That's today on Refashioning with Rachel. I used a shirt that fit me loosely for my pattern and put a pin in the shirt at my waistline. This duvet cover has two different contrasting fabrics on the top and the bottom, and I thought it would be nice to use these fabrics to make a robe with some contrasting trim. So I separated the top and the bottom fabrics, and used the darker yellow fabric to cut out my main pieces. I clearly marked on the shirt where I had placed that pin, and folded it in half and placed it on top of the folded fabric, lining up the folds. Then I traced around the seams of the shirt, adding one centimeter for seam allowance. I transferred the mark that I made on the shirt onto the fabric, and then using a straight edge, I made a slightly angled straight line all the way down to the bottom of the robe. For the length of the robe, I just measured from my shoulder to the ground and added a couple of inches so I could play with it later. And I cut out the back of the robe and cut out two little notches at the waist. I placed the piece that I just cut out onto two layers of fabric and traced around the side seams and the shoulder seams and transferred the mark for the waist. I added three inches past the fold of the back piece all along the center front and made a mark on the new line that was directly across from the waistline. I connected that mark to the shoulder seam with a line and rounded off that angle a bit. And then I could cut out my two front pieces. Using my shirt as a pattern again, I placed the fold of the sleeve onto a fold of the fabric and traced around the seams, adding one centimeter for seam allowance. I added a few inches to the length of the sleeves, although I really should have made the sleeves much longer, I'm not sure what I was thinking. But you will see later that I add some length to the sleeves. I cut out the first sleeve and used it as a pattern to cut out a second sleeve. I made a little notch on each of the sleeves to indicate the center of the shoulder. And with right sides facing, I pinned and sewed the front pieces to the back piece at the shoulder seams. I opened up the robe so that the armhole was lying flat and pinned the sleeve to the armhole with right sides facing beginning at the shoulder seam and then working from each of the ends of the armhole back up to the shoulder seam. I like to attach the sleeves this way because you can see if the armhole will fit the sleeve before you do any sewing.
and after both sleeves were pinned to the armholes, I took them to the sewing machine and sewed them down. I used a serger to finish my edges, but a zigzag stitch would also work quite well. To make some belt loops, I took a strip of fabric a couple inches wide and about 25 inches long and folded it in half with right sides facing and made a stitch about one quarter inch away from the fold. I trimmed off the excess fabric. I threaded an embroidery needle with about a foot of thread and tied a knot at the end. I fed the needle through the fabric strip catching the knot at the end and put the needle in backwards through the tube of fabric, scooching it all the way to the end and gently pulling until I could pull the fabric tube right side out. And cut that strap into three six inch pieces. and ironed them flat. I folded the front pieces of the robe on top of the back piece with the right sides facing and pinned the underarm seams and the side seams. At the point where I marked the waist, I took one of my 6 inch strips of fabric, folded it in half, and sandwiched it between the front and the back pieces, lining up all of the raw edges. And then I sewed the underarm seam and the side seams all in one go. It was at this point that I tried on the robe and realized that I made the sleeves way too short. So I measured and cut out some rectangular extensions, the same width as the sleeve, and several inches long. I squared off the edges. and cut it in half so that I could have two sleeve extensions. And sewed the bottom of the sleeve extensions. I turned the sleeve extension right side out and placed it inside the sleeve with right sides facing and pinned them together lining up the underarm seam and placing a few more pins around the opening. And after sewing the sleeve extension to the sleeves, my sleeves were now nice and full length. Moving on to the contrasting fabric, 
I measured and ripped out several 5 inch strips. Since this is a woven fabric, all I had to do was make some little snips at the end and rip away. I attached two of these strips together at the ends. And pressed open that seam. And folded and pressed the entire seam in half. I pinned this folded strip of fabric all around the opening of the robe, lining up all of the raw edges. trimmed off the excess and pinned my remaining 6 inch strip of fabric to the center back of the rope. And then I sewed the entire strip to the opening. I used a slightly bigger seam allowance here, about a centimeter and a half or 5 eighths of an inch. I ironed the seam toward the robe and trimmed back a little more than half of the seam allowance from the bottom two layers of fabric, leaving the top layer of fabric untrimmed. Then I folded this top layer of the seam allowance under and around the bottom two layers and ironed it in place. And then I secured it with a stitch very close to the folded edge. And now the trim is attached to the opening and finished nicely. And this little hanging loop is secure under the nicely finished trim. I trimmed the sleeves back 2 inches from where I wanted them to end and cut a piece of the trimming fabric as wide as the sleeves plus 2 centimeters for seam allowance. I opened them up and with right sides facing, I pinned and sewed the ends together. After stitching, I turned them right side out and placed them over the ends of the sleeves with right sides facing and lining up the seams. I sewed the trim to the sleeves, again using a slightly bigger seam allowance. and trimmed back the seam allowance from the bottom two layers and folded the top layer of the seam allowance over and around the bottom two layers 
and stitched it down, sewing very close to the edge of the fold. I took another strip of 5 inch trim fabric and folded in and ironed 1 centimeter along the top of the strip and 1 centimeter all along the bottom of the strip. And then folded the whole thing in half. I unfolded the strips at the ends and with right sides facing, I stitched the ends closed. I trimmed off the excess fabric and turned it right side out, poked out the corners with a pointy tool, and stitched all along the folded edge of the belt, about one or two millimeters from the edge. and pivoted at the corners and sewed all along the other edge of the belt. And after the belt was finished, the only thing left to do was to hem the bottom. Which I did by folding it over twice and securing with a stitch. And then this project was finished. So here is a reminder of how this project looked before. And here's how it looks now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more refashioning videos, Please check out some of my other videos on this channel, and like, and subscribe, and have a beautiful day.